So let's move into the next fight that I would like to cover. It's the eighth fight of the event. It follows right after Michael Trezano and Louis Pena, also known as Violent Bob Ross. It is a women's MMA fight involving undefeated Macy Barber taking on 8-2 and two Hannah Siffers. Um, this is an interesting fight. We've got Macy the Future Barber, only 20 years old. If you follow her on her Instagram or even Facebook, she put a counter. Uh, and that counter basically depicts the time she has remaining to become the youngest champion in UFC history. That title right now, that record is held by John Jones. He is the uh, youngest to ever achieve that UFC champion gold uh, at light heavyweight. Macy Barber, she is making her UFC debut. She was a contestant on Dana White's Contender Series Season 2, Episode 5. Holds a professional record of 5 wins, 0 losses, stands at 5 feet, five inches tall I like her nickname as the future you know she looks very good her skill set looks very interesting she has the face that could be big and we know women MMA fighters have the potential to be big enormous stars we don't have to look far Ronda Rousey Holly Holm Misha Tate I mean the the openings are there for a, a woman and a female to come in here and really take the UFC by storm but let's not love overlook her opponent, Shockwave Hannah. Standing at 5 feet, 1 inch tall, 26 years old, holds a professional record of 8 wins, 2 losses. Is also making her respective UFC debut. So this is going to be a very interesting fight. I'm surprised that UFC didn't choose to pair Macy Barber with somebody who has a little bit more of a UFC name. But as we know, the UFC, they typically like to pad the records of the people they look as to stars and we've seen this a little bit in the past with Conor McGregor fighting Dennis Seaver we've seen a little bit with Israel Adesanya with his first couple of bouts here in the UFC and I feel like this they're doing the same thing with Macy Barber but that is always a dangerous bet because in this sport of mixed martial art in this sport of fighting one punch one choke one wrong move costs you the fight and if you look at a fight like Macy Barber 5-0 has yet to taste defeat we have no idea how strong she is mentally although if I look at it very objectively if I look at it very systematically Macy Barber does possess very good tools she is a bigger fighter she has what seems to be an all-around game to a certain extent obviously as of right now she will definitely be no chance of standing up and competing with the upper echelon of the division. However, if you look at where she is now, if you look at the competition and her rankings, I feel like she is a notch above everybody else. She has wins via TKO or knockout. She has wins via decision and she has wins via submission. What that tells me is she's dangerous anywhere the fight goes. She has the durability and the gas tank to go all three rounds if she so has to. And the fact that she has, you know, what, three, two KO, TKO victories in a women's division, I feel like she packs a punch and a lot of people may underestimate that of Macy Barber. She is definitely the bigger fighter. She has a larger frame. But Hannah Cypher, look at her. She has five TKO, KO victories. So the same argument can be made for her as well. She does have that power. She is four inches shorter. But that center of gravity, if Macy Barber does choose to leave her chin open, chin exposed, leaves her head up, that pl could play into advantage of Hannah Safer, who can land a powerful shot if not careful. So, my prediction though is I will be going with Macy Barber. I feel like the fact that she's competed on Dana White's Contender Series exposes her more to the atmosphere of the UFC exposes her more to the pressure that's related to competing in the UFC and at the biggest stage possible while this would be Hannah's first attempt at doing so maybe the nerves would be too much for her to handle so my prediction is Macy Barber via first round or first round TKO victory or I would probably even go and stretch it to a second round TKO victory that is the pick Macy Barber